Welcome back to Backyard Science Go. Well, that was so terrible. That was so hey guys, it's Backyard Science here, and today we're going to be doing a little classic reaction. So we're making a Pur Pur Prussian. Prussian blue. This is a dye that's been used for centuries all over the world. It was created in the 18th century to color the jackets for the Prussian army. It was invented by a man on accident and it was used to color all sorts of things, from jeans to hats to anything you can think of. To learn about more of the history of Prussian blue, check out Vsauce2's new video, The Invention of Blue. There's a link in the description below. It's lit. <laughs> Let's get on with our experiment. Okay, first we're gonna need two chemicals. First is uh, anoint, ammon ammonium iron sulfate. Okay, and then um, potassium. Potassium hexasulfate. Okay. Okay, we also need to get some water here and a spoon. Two test tubes or cups, glasses, whatever you have. First, you're gonna take your water and you're gonna flip it. <gasps> oh my god! No! <laughs> I like it. Okay, seriously guys, we're gonna take your water bottle, you're gonna open it, you're gonna put half, half water, half of this. Pull, pull slightly. Okay, so you're gonna take your ammonium iron sulfate you're gonna open it up and you're gonna drink it no I'm joking you're gonna open it up and you are gonna take your little spoon and you're gonna take one spoon put it in one next you're gonna take your potassium hexacyanophorate I said it yeah I think and you are going to take a different spoon make sure if you don't have two that are about the same size make sure it's cleaned off because you don't want to cross-contaminate. And you're going to put it in your second test tube. All right, you're going to take your hexacyanophorate and put it in your other one that I can't remember. And you're going to put this one in this one. You're very slow. And it turns What the beef? That's How did you that brush it? What? Blue. Alright guys, if you have a syringe, you might want to syringe it up, because we're going to put this stuff to the test. We're going to use an old t-shirt. you making a human figure. That's blue! Like, never use this if you want to use it for your like hand or anything. Just use it for the, your shirt if you want to dye something. Why would you use... Okay, look, this is going to be our backyard science shirt right here. Yeah! We've got our little... This stuff stains like magic. Bitsy. Have some hair, blue hair. Why not? Why not? And for that matter, let's make it an afro. Oh yeah! All right, guys, this this was awesome. It worked surprisingly well in like the deep blue. It's just it's like really nice, and this is awesome. It smells nice. So this dye was really strong. So we're gonna put it to the test. We're gonna be dyeing a piece of wood. So syringe. It's green! Why is it green? Oh, it's blue. Wait, no, it's green. Okay, guys, so uh, we're gonna dye some more wood. Dude, look this at this! This is awesome! It, like, it stained through the entire block. We took all the liquid off, and it is still blue. Look at this! This is crazy! Dude, we should've worn gloves! Dude, it dripped through the floor! What? No! His $200 like, shoes are all blue now. <gasps> this was an awesome experiment. You should, guys should definitely do it. See you next time on Backyard Science. Thanks for watching. We, next up, we're going to be coloring his hair. He said he wanted to color his hair blue, so here we go. Yeah! Come on, let's go. Come on. No, wait, right. stop. Seriously, so, stop. No, no, it's, no, you wanted stop. it.